Hello and welcome to the uh, Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 14th of March 2020 time just gone 9 o'clock 9.03 Greenwich Mean Time ah such a week okay let's start off with the big thing um, COVID-19 uh, the coronavirus um, let's start with a little bit of good news um, and this is indicative this is not just tech uh, all the Apple stores in China which have been closed are now beginning to open again so you can survive it however my opinion and it's just my opinion it's a completely new virus and no one has any immunity to it um, we do know that it's less likely to badly affect youngsters i.e. children are more likely to affect those who are older and have underlying health issues everyone else uh, I think the general opinion is it can be very variable and the working assumptions from the government is at maximum 80% of the population will get it there is no vaccine for it at the moment so the big phrase is herd immunity so we're going to get it and if you get it you don't want to spread it especially to those in vulnerable groups so self-isolation very good idea um, it was 14 days it's now seven days um, there you go um, wash your hands my hands are <laughs> looking very old and dry um, wash your hands and maybe get some hand creams so that they don't go cracky which makes the skin um, more inclined um, to get infected with other things so my big thing is um, uh, carry on and don't panic I am in the Malcolm uphill it is pretty normal for uh, nine o'clock on a Saturday morning I'm drinking a fine ale it's Scottish um, there are no Scots in kilts here they were in Panath yesterday um, I suppose the cancellation of the rugby match um, has dealt uh, a deal to that and uh, to be honest the WRU apparently there were lots and lots of can cancellations everyone else had cancelled it I suppose in the long term that's the way to do it although you were at low risk but um, there's always the duty of care that's my thoughts um, who knows that uh, they'll be the same if I get it anyway um, let's look back over the last week last Sunday it was the first time I really used jump desktop in anger maybe not the correct words left my desktop PC on had the server running remoted in um, the main thing I found was it was remarkably fast and responsive um, I did most of the um, it was my dream team update so I was running um, web plus web plus 7 which no longer is supported anyway uh, I thought I'd do all the Excel bits and getting all the data ready on uh, my local machine and then copy them over uh, to my desktop uh, that didn't work so that's the only con however uh, I did the, all the Excel stuff remotely that was very fast I was able to post everything really went well and I'm very very pleased with jump desktop and I believe it's half price at the moment due to yeah coronavirus um, so if you're looking for a cross-platform remote access solution jump desktop is the one for you and maybe get a free trial for screencast online because Alison Sheridan does a really good tutorial on it okay um, guess what's gone round the sun once again yeah I uh, had the week off because I had a birthday I went into Newport I drank beer I had chips I was gonna have chicken wings but I was rather full it was a good day it rained <laughs> that's the way it is um, and on Wednesday my new PC arrived Matt from DPD uh, delivered it 
Matt was excellent. Um, and I've got to be honest, so were DPD. Um, it was time for a before 10.30 delivery. Um, and he said if it wasn't for the vehicle inspectorate checking everything before they left, he would have been there earlier. He was a great guy. Uh, so thank you, Matt. Thank you, DPD. Uh, okay, so setting the thing up which I'm still in the process of. The trouble is I've got so much junk. Um, I don't know if I'll transfer all the programs over. Maybe I'll just install them as I need them. I'm about two thirds of the way through. Um, but it was the data, uh, especially all my videos and stuff. Uh, I was gonna share my D drive and copy it over. Oh, what a... Anyway, long story short, Resilio Sync. Um, which is a relatively cross-platform um, synchronization utility. It used to be BitTorrent Sync. Absolutely excellent. Although I did need it uh, run overnight. Uh, probably got about two and a half terabytes of data. But uh, went for the home license. Really worked well. Still going well. Wonderful. Nearly ruined the whole thing on Thursday morning. Uh, Antoine Windows Tweaker gets rid of those little uh, shortcut arrows and the term shortcut and whatever. And it said, before you run this, do a restore. Okay, I did a restore. Um, what I should have done was create a restore point. And the thing wouldn't boot. However, there are ways of getting it to boot by restoring the restore point. Um, uh, I think that I was an idiot and I also think that there should be an idiot button saying do you really want to do this but there wasn't and while I was at it I was transferring Premier Elements over and I just uninstalled Premier Elements without deactivating it however online five minutes uh, Adobe sorted me out I was really rather pleased with them so, Saturday morning now, I spent yesterday in Panath where there are some rather upset Scottish people. Uh, and I don't blame them anyway. However, it's always best to be safe. So, I'm going to continue with my Scottish ale, while cut by the Cairngorm Brewery. And um, thank you for watching. And stay very safe. And um, with a bit of luck and a following wind, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.